Hey, it's Luke John Harrison here. Before we get into this video, make sure, please, that you like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure the bell notification icon is on. It only takes one second of your day to make mine. Now, let's get into it. Hey, if you're currently watching this and you absolutely hate your job, you are very unsatisfied with your professional position, you do not like where you work, maybe you don't like the people there, you don't like the environment, you don't like the actual job that you're supposed to be doing, nine to five, eight to four, whatever your hours are, Monday to Friday or whenever. If you are unhappy with your job right now, there, here's a question that may change your entire perspective on getting the courage to leave. Years and years ago, I was a plumber. For the first five years of my eight year plumbing career, I was quite satisfied. It was a different environment, it was a new skill set, um, I enjoyed the people I work with, I enjoyed the constant money, I enjoyed the holiday pay, the sick pay, I enjoyed the flexible working hours, I enjoyed the job security. But after the first several, probably five years, the last three was excruciatingly painful. And it could come to a Sunday night and I'd have a knot in my stomach. Maybe you've got that, like, it got to the point where I was plumbing and I just wanted to escape. I felt a constant surge of anxiety in my heart. I wanted to escape. I couldn't wait for the clock to hit, three, four o'clock, so I could clock out and get away and get rid of the whole experience. Now, if you are experiencing that in your job and you are unfulfilled, you are unhappy, you are unsatisfied and you do not like where you are, Here's a question that got me to completely change my mindset on leaving my job, the secure job as well. When everyone around you says, you're stupid, you shouldn't leave, you've got it made, it's, it's the best thing, it's a trade, at least you can fall back on it, all the rest. The one question that changed everything for me was this. Can I see myself doing this day in, day out, every day for the next 40 years? Now, I was about 25 at the time that I asked that, 24, 25, and I thought, by the time I come to retirement age, in my 60s probably, that'll be another 40 years. Now, it might be 30 years for you, it could be 20 years for you, I don't know. It might be 50 years for you, we don't know. However, consider the, the, consider the strength in that question. Can I see myself doing this, doing this, what you're doing today, this job, for the next 30 to 40 years? years. As soon as I contemplated that, my whole soul just sunk. Oh, God. Oh, nah, no way. No fucking way. The pain was too much. So I started to then think, right, what can I do instead? What could I enjoy differently? What could pay similar or maybe even more? Or maybe even the thought came, what could maybe even pay a little bit less that I'd be much happier doing? Think about this. So I looked, I looked into a lot of different things, but the one thing that I had a little bit of passion behind was training, physical fitness, personal training. So like, where can I get a personal training qualification? So I had a look and I looked online, found a course that did it on the weekend so it didn't have to interfere with my day job. So I did every Saturday for about six months, I did my personal training course, my fitness instructor first, level two, my level three personal training on a Saturday. I became qualified and then I spoke to people already in the industry doing what I wanted to do and found out who they'd been learning from and how to go about getting in touch with those people. But the question that changed everything was, can I see myself doing this for the next 40 years and just Imagine how that feels. New habits are formed through emotion. We need to sometimes feel that overwhelming low before we think, I don't want this. I don't want this. That, that was my conclusion. I didn't want this. And it took me three years to get out. It took me three years to get out, right? But I got out and I'd never go back. And I'd never have to. Now, because I made a decision based upon what I truly desired, and what I feared most, more so what I feared, I feared being in that position for the next 40 years, going into work with anxiety, hating what I did, hating my mindset, hating the fact that I was taking drugs at most weekends, I was fucking up my life with choices because I hated what I did every week, that I just used the weekends to go and just get fucking trashed, to relax, to sedate, to get away from it. So consider that today, if you're in a job you hate, Think over that question. Can I see myself doing this for the next 30 to 40 years every single day? And if not, what can I do? What would I enjoy more? 
and go get it.